Hello students, in this session we are going to study failure of columns. How the columns fail, right? We have already studied the slenderness ratio that is the length of the column divided by the minimum radius of gyration. Based on that we are going to study the failure of columns. The columns may fail due to three reasons basically. One is due to direct stresses when we are applying the compressive stresses it may fail in direct stresses if it is uh, that is also called crushing stress that is also called crushing it may fail due to uh, bending stresses bending stresses that is also called buckling or it may fail due to combined effect of combined effect of direct and bending stresses direct and bending stresses right so there may be three reasons of failures of a column and based on that we have divided the columns into three parts that is short column long column and medium column so what is short column basically short column short column so suppose we have a column like this which has small length which has small length right and and there is not much bending bending effect is neglected very slight bending is there and we are applying the load at a certain load this this column is crushed broken right it, it is a brittle if it is a brittle material that will be crushed right and uh, if crushing is taking place due to direct stresses because there was negligible bending no bending was there only crushing is there and that type of column is called short column right where the failure take place the failure takes place due to direct stresses only direct stresses when we are applying this load there may be bending there may be direct stresses are there both type of stresses are there but because it is short column bending can be neglected slight bending is there which can be neglected so failure takes place due to direct stresses or crushing or crushing right and so this is this we have shown here is short column short column right so this is a short column so for short column we have defined in the last lecture the slenderness ratio right so if this is length of the column length is very small so slenderness ratio will also be small so it has the slenderness ratio and if you are talking about steel for steel the slenderness ratio is less than equal to uh, 30 in general for short columns for steel we are talking about steel but the different materials may have a, a different slenderness ratio right but most of the time we are using in mechanical engineering generally we are using steel structures so uh, we are talking about here steel uh, for aluminium it may be different for concrete it is different right but steel the slenderness ratio is generally less than 30 then we say that this is a short column so this is a short column right and failure take place failure take place uh, due to direct stresses only right for short column similarly we have uh, medium column intermediate column or medium column medium column so what is medium column medium column has length slightly greater than this so there may be slight higher length of this column like this now this is medium column medium column 
like this right so medium coulomb the there is bending right as well as there is uh, crushing also right so the failure take place combined effect of both right there is not only bending is dominating not only direct stresses are do dominating both are combined and member is failed due to combined effect of bending and crushing right so failure take place failure takes place due to combined effect of direct stresses crushing and buckling crushing which is direct stress and bending or buckling bending and buckling and what is the slenderness ratio for steel if you are talking about steel so slenderness ratio lies between 30 to 30 uh, it is greater than 30 uh, it is greater than 30 and less than 120 greater than 30 and less than 120 so this is a slenderness ratio more than 30 and less than 120 lies between this right when we are talking about steel steel when we are talking about steel right so this is the short column and this is the medium column so two types of columns failures we have discussed here how the short column fails how the medium columns fails right so there is third type of column also that is long column long column we have a length very large length of this column right greater than this and the bending failure dominates there is very less direct stresses developed in the material and most of the uh, failure most of the time the failure takes place due to bending or buckling right so uh, here buckling dom dominates a so failure take place so failure takes place due to bending stresses or buckling we already discussed that there is not much difference between bending and buckling both are same thing the difference is that bending is well defined in a particular direction and buckling is uh, depends upon the moment of inertia and the axis about which the moment of inertia is lower the bending takes place in that direction that's why we have named this buckling rather than bending that's it right and because uh, most of the time we are using brittle materials most of the times we are using brittle material and they crush in between when the compressive load is applied right so that's why we are using here crushing the word uh, crushing so crushing is basically compressive stresses nothing else right compressive stressing we are calling the crushing direct stresses here it means right and the slenderness ratio slender ratio if we're talking about steel that is greater than 120 that is steel so at greater than 120 it is always bending or buckling right but uh, even at 100 slenderness ratio even at 80 slenderness ratio there may be some buckling most of the time the majority of uh, failure is due to buckling even at 80 slenderness ratio right so but after 120 uh, there is only always bending uh, failure but even at 80 uh, cylinder ratio or 100 cylinder ratio above 80 there is failure of buckling dominates so you have to think about the three types of columns and their failures that is short column medium column and long column